What's up guys? I've been trying to think for a while how to put together an at-home training video for you where you can work on your defensive reaction timing. And I finally figured it out. We're gonna try it out today. We're gonna be using two different types of triggers. One audio to set us up for our blocking and then another color reactionary base when the screen flashes a certain color where we are gonna throw punches. And this is gonna make you think about two different things. The problem with most videos, or at least when I've given you guys videos before, it's, you know, there's a, a sound and you throw an attack. There's another sound and you throw an attack. It's all offense, but we wanna get defense. One of the big things about defense is being able to flow very quickly from attacking to blocking, to throw some shots, to get back to blocking, and then right back to attacking. That's difficult to train. So I'm doing my best to put together something for you guys. So if you're at home, you're on lockdown, you're not able to get to the gym, you can still work on your defensive skills, or even if you are at the gym, you can come back home Home, play around in this video and work on your reaction timing for defense. So I'm gonna follow along with you guys, do the drill as well, do the training. And you guys can let me know in the comments below if this video is hard enough. We're gonna do three different stages. We're gonna do a beginner, which will be very slow. And then we're gonna very quickly, after a couple minutes, spike it up to an intermediate level. And then we're gonna do a fast paced advanced one. But if you're still going, you know what? Too easy, I can take more. Give me more, Gabriel. Well, you let me know and I'll make sure I get it done. So today we're working on a couple different things. The first aspect is going to be sounds, audio triggers to get blocks going. Now, what I want you to focus on, because a lot of kickboxers only do this. That's their defense. They just put their hands up and they don't really move them. But I want you guys today, just for the purpose of this, to really, when you go to block, let your hand raise up to full head level. So we're going from above, just slightly above eye level, maybe eyebrow level, up to the top of the head. As you lift, get your elbow up in the way so you're blocking straight punches as well. When you hear the beep, you're gonna take your left arm, or your lead arm, let's say lead arm for everybody because there's south paws out there. You're gonna take your lead arm and you're going to block the potential hook or straight punch. This works for both of them. On the beep, you block. On the bang, you lift your elbow up. On the back arm, the cross arm will lift and block. So let's just run through this a couple times just so you start to get it down. And then we're gonna put in the visual triggers which are gonna indicate attacks. So we'll start nice and slow. You hear that beep, you get the elbow up. Make sure when you hear the bang, it's the back one. All right, hopefully that's enough there to get you started. Very slow pace, nothing too frantic. Now, when you see a flash of color, when we see a flash of red, I want you to throw your jab. When we see a flash of blue, I want you to throw your cross. It'll just be a split second, so you have to react quick. First round will be very slow. We're only gonna have triggers for blocking and then punching, and there'll be a nice little space in between. So you can start dialing in and registering what the sounds and the visuals mean. But as we get further on, you'll start hearing things like, a, you hear a beep, and then right away you're gonna see the screen flash, so you have to throw a punch. It'll become much more difficult. All right guys, let's get this started. Remember, the sounds are for blocks, and the color indications are for the punches. Red off the lead arm, and blue off your back arm. Ready? And let's go. All right guys, that's round number one done. Like I said, nice slow pace, getting you to react to the audio triggers and throw punches off the visuals. Take a little break, a little breath. The second round is gonna be a little bit faster. We won't have things overlap yet, but it's definitely gonna be faster. 
We're just going to stick with a one minute. Initially, I was going to do the two, but I just want one minute for each of them. You guys can always come back and rewatch them and do it again. And guys, these videos take a lot of time. So if you have not already, please give it a like. If you haven't yet subscribed and definitely make sure you share this with somebody else out there. Lots of people are looking for ways to improve their skills. Hopefully this video is something that will help you stay sharp until you can get back in the gym or like I said before, it'll help you just increase your skill level even if you are at the gym and you want to get better at defensive work. All right, let's move into round number two. Just a little bit quicker this time. Set your weight down, get that brain focused, and here we go. And time. All right, one more. Last one's gonna be frantic. It's gonna be a faster pace. It's gonna challenge you guys, but now hopefully you've got the understanding down of what each motion means or what each sound or visual means. Again, guys, if you haven't already, once we finish up this video, throw a comment down below. Do you want a whole series like this? Like they do a whole half hour training session on this type of drilling, which I think would be really beneficial, but I don't wanna put it together because these take a lot of work until I know that that's what you guys want, that you'll actually utilize it. So down below, throw a little comment, let me know. And let's get in guys to our very last minute here. Frantic pace this time, a little bit faster. Gonna see a little bit of overlap between the visual cues and the audio cues. Do your best to follow along. And ready, ready, and let's go. Almost there, keep working. And time guys. The last little bit gets a little trickier there. Again, we can make this loads, loads harder, but I'm not sure if it's something you guys are interested in. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna throw a link up to a couple other training exercises that you can utilize if you wanna keep going. Until next time guys, train hard, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.